This video is going to show you how to flash your Galaxy S3 to completely stock. This should work with all the devices that the Galaxy S3 Toolkit by Amskip supports. One of the first things you're going to want to do is download Triangle Away by Chainfire. It's available in the Google Play Store. And I also believe you can go to his thread, which I'll link to in the description of this video, and download it for free. It looks like that, and I'll also link to this so you don't have to search for it. Just press install, accept and download, and it'll download the app. The app is installed. When you open it, it should ask for root permission. I'm going to grant it. No thanks, I already follow him on Twitter. It says right there that we have flashed something twice to it. I'm going to reset it. Continue. Now when we open up the app, you see it says zero. When you flash a stock ROM, that does not count towards your counter flash status thing right there. Only if you flash something custom. At this point, we're gonna hook the phone up to the computer. It says right there, connected as media device. Check, 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 check. check. One, One, two, three, three. audio in sync. Here we go. All right, we'll open up the Galaxy S3 toolkit. This will also be placed in the description. I will include links to all the carriers that it supports. Just open it up and it'll pop up saying Damien starts successfully. You want to check and see if there's an update. We do not have the pro version, so we're going to type in no. We are going to choose that we have the US Sprint SPH L710. If you have AT&T, you'll press 1. If you have Sprint, you'll press 2. If you have T-Mobile, press 3. US Cellular, press 4. And vice versa. So we'll press 2. And at this point, we are going to flash this thing completely stock. Press 8. Press 1. Press 2. I don't know why it does this. See, the file that it puts in there, I'm going to show you real quick. C drive, Galaxy S3 toolkit, put Odin images here. It's a one kilobyte file, so I'm going to delete that. And here's the stock one. I'm going to transfer it over to the folder right here. All right, now I'm going to close this. And I will have links for my subscribers to that file because it is rather large, and I will link to it on Mediafire. Please do not share that link anywhere, or I will have to delete it and then re upload it so that way it makes a new link and all the other links are broken. I have to pay for that hosting, and I don't want that hosting being shared with the world. Just my subscribers. Extract from downloaded file. Oh, we need to put that in the thing. Did we put it in the right spot? Let's just check real quick. Galaxy S3 toolkit. Put Odin images here. All right, sweet. Press 2. File not found. I'm going to take this, copy that, go here, copy this, go back here, go back here, put all the images here, delete that, paste that, come on. Take this, press F2, control A, control V, alright, that's done. Just for the sake of it, I will show my MD5 for this file. There you go. Now I'm going to extract it. Alright, type yes. Deleting the downloaded file. So when you download it, you might want to take it and save it to an external hard drive, a flash drive, or something else. Because as we go back to this folder, you'll see that there's only this file right here. Wow, that's kind of big. We already reset the flash counter, so I guess you don't actually have to use Chainfire's app because he includes it. Or actually, he might take you to the market and do it that way. Let's press 3 and find out. Are you ready to start? Type yes. Go to Triangle White Thread. Okay, yeah, so it's taking you to the thing where you download the free version. Install the app on the phone. Open Triangle Way. Grant Super User Access. Apple check device models. If it's new, add on as required, which needs downloading. Press download to continue. Click reset flash counter. We're going to go ahead and press any key, because like I said, we used the app and did it that way. Now we need to flash the ROM to the phone, press option 4, and make sure that you press 1. If you don't, then you will still have all of your apps that you had before. So, Titania Backup, Super User will be gone, anything that was in the system partition will be removed and replaced with stock. So you'll still have everything. You need to press option 1. As you can see, it is rebooting it to recovery. Select wipe, factory reset, press yes. 
I highly recommend Twerp Recovery. If you download Goo Manager from the Google Play Store, open it up, it'll ask for root, grant it, or allow it, depending on which super user or super SU you use. Press menu, install OpenScript Recovery, press yes, wait for it to download, and then it'll install automatically. I highly recommend doing that rather than using a broken recovery from somebody else. Wipe. Factory reset. Press back, and then reboot system now. There you go. When the phone reboots into the setup wizard, complete the screens and log into your Google account unless you plan on doing a wipe after the finishing boot in the ROM. We were running the latest LIH Jelly Bean Leak, which I have a video on how to flash that, and I have a review of what works and what doesn't. If you look in the description of this video, you'll find a link that says all of my Samsung Galaxy S3 videos can be found here. If you click that, it'll take you to my Galaxy S3 playlist where all of my videos pertaining to the Galaxy S3, like how to root, how to flash stock, how to install Cyanogen Mod 10, how to install other ROMs, reviews of other ROMs, everything we found in that one playlist. Just a neat, organized way of finding all my videos for one certain device. As of this video, Triple X Reborn has made an awesome banner. If you go to my channel, you will see at the top where it says Galaxy S3. By clicking on that, it'll always take you to the Galaxy S3 playlist. I do have other devices like the Galaxy Nexus and etc. And all those can also be found there as well. Alright, start. No. Not now. Next. Mm. Next. Done. Next. Finish. No thanks. I disable that. That's annoying as heck. Like it'll automatically turn your Wi-Fi on when you're not even at home and no Wi-Fi around. All right, we'll press enter or any key really. And now we're gonna press two. USB to on is being enabled, so let's make sure that that is enabled. Menu settings, developer options, USB debugging is on, and it's checked. If it's not, just press on it. You might need to unplug your device, then press on it. Some devices are different. Type yes, and then press enter. Rebooting phone in download mode. Make sure auto reboot, F reset time, or ticked, and nothing else. If your extracted ROM is in the Atari 95 package, click on the PDA button. All right, here is Odin, click PDA. We need to go back here, and the Odin images, here's the MD5, press open. Make sure that auto reboot and F reset time are checked, nothing else. Make sure the file is located in the display corresponding button, and press start. And now we just simply wait. It's flashing a bunch of stuff on top of the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and say this while it's flashing it. This is not the very latest ROM. After you flash this, it will say that there is an update available. This is, I don't even know what version it is, but it's not the latest, that's for sure. You can accept the update, it's fine. If you plan on taking it to Sprint, you're probably flashing the stock because you plan on taking your phone to Sprint and getting it swapped out, or maybe you're having a problem with the custom ROM and you're trying to make sure that it's not software related, but it's hardware related, because if it is hardware related, then warranty will cover it. If it's software related, it will not cover it unless you flash it stock. If you flash it stock, then it'll be fixed because the software is exactly what you're flashing right now. But if you flash it stock like this without resetting it, like we did with the factory reset, I'm telling you, all your apps will be there. Titanium backup, Triangle away, every single app you had on there will still be on there. The only thing that this does is replace the system directory and recovery and etc. So you won't have root anymore, you won't have custom recovery, you won't have anything. All you'll have is your apps that you installed from the Google Play Store and the data that goes along with them. Oh, just a quick heads up. If you do manage to find a full tar that is the complete and newest ROM, then of course it won't tell you that there is an update. But the file that we're flashing and the file I'm going to link to in the description of this video is not the latest one. I just wanted to make that clear. That way you don't think that, oh, there's not an update, but I flashed a different one. Like maybe the toolkit will get updated and it'll download like the full one instead of like a one kilobyte file like you saw. As you can see, it does take a while. I will put the time up on the screen that it took. on like a little Android guy thingy magic. It just vibrated. Let's see if it'll be a stock ROM. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yep, there we go. There's the stock sprint animation that comes with the stock ROM. So you don't have root, you don't have your user data, you have nothing. Your phone is completely stock. Now the only thing you should do at this point is make sure that there's nothing on your SD card 
that gives away that you are rooted. If you have a titanium backup folder in there, if you have a bunch of backed up root apps, those are all stuff you'll want to, you know, hook your phone to your computer and transfer them to your hard drive, or you'll want to hook a micro USB OTG adapter up and transfer everything over to a flash drive. You just want to make it as unsuspicious as possible that your phone needs to be rooted. The only way they'll be able to tell is if you didn't reset your flash counter or if you still have leftover root files like I said, titanium backup folder that you use for your backups and everything's still in your SD card. The first boot up is going to take a while by the way. You can pretty much close out everything on the computer now. It says completed. Returning to main menu. Alright. And you can, if this helped you go stock and you feel like sending a few dollars to the developer, just press number 25. It'll automatically launch Internet Exploder and you'll be able to donate however much you want. And if you do donate, you'll have access to extra options and it will automatically update your toolkit to the latest version every time you start it. So that's pretty freaking sweet. It's worth it. I still need to do it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and exit this out. Wait for the phone to start up. Wait for it. It took all that time and it still has not powered up. So here's what we're going to do. Hold down the power button until it forces it to reboot. And then we'll try to turn it on and see what it does. It doesn't look like it's going to reboot. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a factory reset. Maybe that'll fix it. With the phone powered off, we're going to hold volume up, the home button, and the power button. And then let go. It should take us into stock recovery. Sweet. Wipe factory reset. Go down to that one and press power. Now I'm going to press power to reboot system now and see if this time it actually boots up. If you wanted to, you really could just choose the flash stock option instead of pressing the factory reset with your custom recovery and then go into stock recovery and do a reset. Looks like the buttons are actually lighting up now, so we might have made progress with that factory reset using stock recovery. You may or may not have to do that. I don't know how it's going to work for you. It just got brighter, it looks like. There we go. We are now in a completely stock phone. It's probably going to tell us right here that there's an update available. Sign into our Google Play account. See, I like that. It's got the little arrows to let you know whether there's activity going on or not with your Wi-Fi. I really, really like that. I hate it that they took that away with the Jelly Bean update. Someone in the comments pointed out that you could delete something and it would work. I tried that. I still had the huge Wi-Fi icon that's bigger than that one without the little arrows underneath it. Then press next. And then that's me. And then finish. I already have an account. And then I always just turn this on in case someone steals your phone or you lose it or it gets wiped or something like that. All of your pictures are still on the thing. To this right here, I would press settings and then I would not have that checked. If it is checked, just uncheck it. That way, like, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and there's no Wi-Fi around, it doesn't just automatically turn on your Wi-Fi and try to make the decisions for you. So, see all these updates are available. We'll go to menu, settings, about device, and you'll see Android 404, build number L710V Palin. Yeah, so there we are, completely stock. If you go to your apps, you'll see that you have, you know, absolutely nothing. No super user, nothing. Your flash counter is reset to zero. Sprint does not know you ever rooted your device. Unless, by any chance, they open up my files, and then they go to your SD card, and then they see Titania Backup, Game Guardian, all your ROMs, <laughs> Goo Manager, etc. Make sure you take that and you hook up a micro USB OTG cable and you transfer it to a flash drive, not copying, but cutting it over there, like moving it. 
transfer it to your hard drive, hook your phone up to your computer and do it that way. Just make sure you don't go in there with all those root files on your phone. That'll be a big giveaway and they will note your account that you have rooted your device at one time. If you like this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. It lets me know that you like the video and you want to see more videos like this. It's a little click, but it goes a long way. Trust me. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button up there somewhere. My name is Josh. My username stands for what would Josh do? And I'm out. Oh, quick update. The Evo 4 GLTE, whether you're on H1.5 or 1.9, you can downgrade to 1.12 and get S off. I'll have a link in the description to the XDA thread. It is complicated at this point, but one of my good friends, Close One, is making a easy live CD where it's pretty much most things are automated. I'll cover that in the next Tech Talk. This is what would Josh do in a mount. Peace.